Film of the Feast, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into uh, Tea Room. Queen Naja had enough. Let's get it. So now there's been a lot of talk after Clarence and Queen posted up a photo of Queen holding a bride to be signed. Now Queen did inform everyone that they were just trolling and that they aren't really engaged. Well, you guys know Chris has been doing this whole messy tea time on TikTok and he responded to the Shade Room posting up Queen stating that she was just trolling yes <laughs> no that was a close one on my soul i thought they really got married i was in my room crying day night and day in fuck is you talking about <laughs> but not on a serious note baby girl you did not troll us you trolled yourself <laughs> It's humor so trash. I'm trying to act like y'all give me and what I mean by y'all. Y'all give me something else to react to on my TikTok besides this. Cause y'all want me to do this clearly. And what I mean by y'all, nobody. I wanted to do it. <laughs> but no on a serious note, bro. Um But no, no troll shit. They look really happy, though. For real, for real, they look real happy. And I'm not even trolling right now, bro. On GD. My baby mama's still cute, though, bro. What? I ain't gonna lie. Every time I see her out in public, she don't be wanting to look at me in the eyes. She know why. She know she still love me. And he think that's not disrespectful. Everybody don't like to play. Especially me. I'm hey, everybody. Let me stop. My bad, Claire. My bad. I'm done. I this is my last video. I'm done. I'm done trolling. Um, bro. I need something else to do. I need to get a life. Call so now Queen responded to Chris's video with, while he's laughing at me, I hope this coin he making off my name help out a little bit with some of his son's expenses. Because I gave him grace by not putting him on child support. That I've been so nice. Just get creepier and creepier, y'all. Nobody missed him. Nobody missed him on the internet, bro. <laughs> Nobody. He hasn't taught his son anything valuable. It's sad that another man had to come and do his part, shaking my head. And yeah, he may have made me a wife quickly, but he also put bruises on me during the marriage, choked me up, ruined my self-confidence, calling me ugly, mm -hmm. calling my body ugly after giving birth to his child, <laughs> carelessly stepped out on our marriage countless of times, hogged all the money we made and other unspeakable things, but laughing at me because I haven't married again yet, I'd rather take my time in a healthy relationship than to be in a traumatic marriage. You would think he would have done some self work to become a better man after all these years, but no, still a delusional narcissistic liar. I can only pray my son doesn't turn out like him. He needs to seek the God who he stopped believing in. So obviously I'm sure Queen and Clarence have been seeing all these videos that Chris has been posting and she has had enough. Well, Chris was also speaking Thank on you, Queen on- Child, I think I'm over here getting sick. TikTok again, stating that he's tired of Queen speaking negative on his name every chance she gets. Couldn't do it. I couldn't wear. No, I'm so, like at this point, I'm just my bad. I had to I had to catch a breath. First of all, I didn't care if Shorty wore a bathing suit. No offense, but she was insecure in the bitch anyways. That's why she went and got a BBL. She was insecure. I'm just being real. I want to tell y'all the truth because I'm tired of my name getting bashed on my soul. Fuck is you talking about? I'm tired of my name getting bashed. Every time I see an interview about me, it's always bad things. Well, if it was so bad, why did you stay with me for six years if everything was just bad? Every time you break up with somebody, the females always tend to... This nigga did this, this nigga did this, but she will never say anything good that he did. He wouldn't, she would never glorify that man. They would never be like, oh yeah, he was a good person. He did this, he made sure I was straight, he did this. He dropped out of college for me. He did this, he did this, he did this. Yeah, he made sure my family was straight when they was on section mm -hmm. eight. He did this, he did this. He bought me flowers. He made sure I was straight, he loved- Girl, I'm so tired of the he did this, he did this. 
no reason why I'm reacting to this. But it is what it is. I'm just irritated right now. I'm not even... It's not even messy, Chris. Right? I'm just irritated. But now, Corey's boo, Danny, filed a restraining order against Sherelle. Now, if you guys didn't know, Sherelle has been exposing Danny for all of these alleged scams. So, Danny had enough and decided to take it to the courts and file that restraining order. Well, now Sherelle is stating that she's going to take her paperwork to court as well, showing everything and how Denny has been falsifying a lot of information. Somebody go tell Denny that filing for a restraining order and an injunction comes with a defense. She should have thought about that before she did it. Now I'm about to go into courts and tell him everything straight to a judge. I mean, from top to bottom, scripted, unscripted, straight off the dome. I don't even give a fuck. But I will have a manila folder that will back up everything and prove for a fact that everything that I'm saying is true. Why are these millionaires like this? Make it make sense. Like y'all know y'all out here committing fraud and doing all this illegal shit, done committed crimes <sighs> that you ain't been caught for. But you rather To be honest, after that little conversation they just had tonight, I don't know what proof she gonna have in court. I can't wait to see though. The hand deliver yourself to the motherfucking feds. You rather walk in the courtroom and say, oh, I want to file for a restraining order. And the courts are gonna say, all right, well, we're gonna have to serve her. She's gonna have to come to court and basically defend herself. And I'm walking in there with everything. I'm talking about the fraudulent ass bullshit that you was submitting with CPS, state jail felonies, that's seven of them. I'm talking about you going and getting shit in this man's name. All of that shit is gonna be my defense for you out here scamming these people. I'm standing up for them. And now you wanna get a restraining order? Oh, you went and you called CPS and you put them people in my kid's life all because I was standing up for people. Now you wanna get a restraining order? That judge gonna look at you and be like, so you did all of this shit. And now that she on so y'all calling CPS making an, a, a report is is that illegal? I, I clearly a false report, but I don't know how it will be false. I don't even know how it will work anyway. I don't. I never call CPS. Let me know. on the internet. <laughs> Basically explaining who the fuck you are. You want an injunction. You want her to shut up, and then all of the proof is gonna back it up. <laughs> then I. Boy, I tell y'all, you should have talked to your mentor, Ashley, and asked her how it went. She sued me for a meal ticket on September the 2nd, 2022. You found your shit September the 3rd, 2024. How ironic. Y'all ready? Because I'm about to give y'all a fucking show. I promise you. I can't wait. <laughs> Did this millionaire just go and file this shit pro se? <laughs> uh, so for some reason, they took... They um took that out of my video. Well, YouTube took my video down for this particular situation, so I'm not even going to put that up there. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Girl, this is a mess. That's all I got. Bye.